Um, this is Odie. I've been working on Odie for um, about a month or so. So I'm trying to finish up with him. I'm working on his feet. You can see some of the thick paint. Um, I still need to work on their, his eyes just a little bit. And I'm playing in with some of the fur, just adjusting things. Thanks, June. He is cute. He's a, are you still there? Are you still there? I don't know. My app is being really funny here. He's a French bulldog. So I just started in on this foot and trying to make some adjustments. So I'll be working on that. Um, so anyway, what you, what anybody who was not on here before missed is that I was just sharing about what I've been doing in the past, um, five days because I haven't really been on here, but we, we just put our dog to sleep on Saturday, uh, Ringo. He was our pup of almost, uh, 13 years. And I went through a whole lot of stuff about him, which I don't know now it doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem right to go through. So I'm not going to go through it all, but, uh, that's the reason why I haven't been on Instagram a whole lot. Um, that, and of course the coronavirus. So, uh, my kids have been uh, have been home for this is day five, um, and we stopped any interaction, personal interaction with people, on Saturday. So that's been about three days since the kids have played with anybody, uh, which has been oh hi Alyssa, um, thanks June. He was a nice dog. He was a sweetie. Um, anyway, I was just sharing before that we miss him a lot and there's a quietness in the house that Ringo filled that I wasn't aware of. Maybe I was, but now I'm very much aware of how much added sound he made with his toes, his claws tapping the floor, his whining. And at the end he needed to go out an awful lot. So, um... He was, he was a geriatric dog who needed a lot of help at the end. So anyway, uh, we're adjusting to life without Ringo and this guy, Odie needs to get finished so I can get him out of the house. Um, and I just wanted to, I'm going to flip it around now. Um, just wanted to, uh, tell you a little bit about what I have been doing because while I haven't been on Instagram a whole lot, I have been working on ideas. Um, thanks, June. I, I'm really happy with that blue background too. Um, but I've been working on <laughs> intermittently trying to get some ideas out there as far as offering some virtual lessons. Um, we're all adjusting. Changes are happening all around us. And I want to continue to serve my students and offer some um, art lessons that also have a connection to them. Um, when I talk to my students, one of the things I hear about from them over and over again is the value they place on my, sorry, the feedback I give them, the communication, the nurturing approach I have. And I don't, I think now more than ever, I want to maintain that and provide that to people. So I am looking at um, platforms in which I can teach and looking at a way that I can offer content just to start something, to start um, reaching out to those of you, especially who have taken classes from me and have had to step away um, or because places have closed temporarily. So I want to continue that connection for you. And um, anyway, if you're interested in that, DM me with your email address if you're not already on my newsletter, because that will be the first place that I make any announcements. And I'm hoping in the next, hoping in the next, um, today's Tuesday, How's but, but, oh, that's my husband. Hi, I'm on Instagram live. Oh, okay. Uh, he, he says hi. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm hoping by 
going to try by the end of this week to have a, um, a brief lesson that I can, we'll see if it's the end of the week, if that's enough time to notify people, that I can get some people to jump on with me and do a test and give me some feedback to see what works. So I am in process with that. Uh, I do have a separate feed for my lessons, Trailworks. Sorry, Trailworks Lessons um, is a separate feed for my lessons, and I'll get on there as well to communicate to that audience. Um, so that's in progress, and then I'm also toying with some ideas about a um, a sale for my um, existing bodies of work that are online. And at this point in time, shipping is still happening, so I want to try to get something rolled out really quick. So again, if you are on my on my newsletter, that's where it's going to come from first. So th those uh, that audience is my priority. Um, they have signed up to um, get a more intimate look at my my classes, my artwork, and I always provide them opportunities first. So get on my newsletter. You can DM me your email address, or you can go right to my website, and there are pop-ups where you can just input your uh, your email address. Super easy. Hi, Sarah. And uh, thanks, Alyssa. So um, also, if you have any ideas or things you'd like to see, um, again, DM me. Let me know. Uh, I may not be able to, you know, implement things um, instantly at this point in time because I am juggling uh, kids being home and uh, you know we are on spring break this week and then we move into e-learning on Monday so I imagine my life is going to look very different next week than it does this week so we are all just rolling with things right um, my hope for you is that you are finding some way of centering yourself, grounding yourself, um, because right now it's really important to take care of, of you. Uh, I did a meditation class this morning with Jean Vitrano, who's a local meditation instructor. Um, she's offering classes on Zoom. You don't have to be local. She's fantastic. I took classes with her for about a year, and that practice with her in particular, got me through got me through some very difficult times of my life, and I know how important it is now. And uh, I am, hey three birds, um, I availed myself of that opportunity today. It was a thirty minute class, and there was an opportunity to share because it was on Zoom, so we were able to share things. Um, share things, get some feedback, um, and just be in a community. Uh, it was good to feel heard. So uh, that's what I'm thinking about in terms of the classes that I'll be offering. I want that communication aspect. I want to allow you some space to create where you can feel grounded um, and maybe then be able to have more confidence to go and do it on your own when you're not with me because it is important. So I just sat at my easel for about, I'm gonna flip this around so you all can see. Um, I don't know, it's been about 45 minutes I've been up here working today, which is the longest I've been at my easel in about five days. And I find that whenever I'm painting, as long as I'm not, you know, chatting with people, which sometimes I do, but if I'm just painting, it is incredibly grounding. It is a form of meditation. Um, it's one means of going inward, shutting out the world, and getting into a flow state, which is really important. There's lots of different ways of doing that. Uh, June just mentioned walks. Um, three birds, no, that's actually, this is a commission I'm working on. Um, this is a French bulldog named Odie. Um, my dog, I will do a painting of at some point. I've done some sketches of him from life. Um, and I'm actually thinking, I was with him when he passed. And I did take a photo after he had passed. And there's something, I know it might seem a little macabre, but 
there's something that is telling me to draw that. Um, this is going to make me teary and emotional, but um, there was something really beautiful and quiet about seeing um, his body after he had passed on. So, I don't know. I, I certainly, I, I want to do, I've never done a full painting of him. I've done an oil pastel of him from when he was a puppy. But I will do a painting of him at some point. Um, I also owe my six-year-old a painting because I did a painting of for my oldest when he was, um, oh, I think he was a toddler when I painted for him. But I did a large painting for him for his room. And I need to do one for Augie. The painting I did of for Joel is actually um actually has our dog in it. So oh I'm gonna have to take you down to show you. Hold on, we're gonna go on a little tour. Um we won't tell my son I'm doing this. I think his room is somewhat clean. Here are my empty walls. <laughs> Hold on. We're going. But here, this is the painting I did for him when he was, um, when he was a baby. So I owe a painting like this for my younger son, and I think Ringo needs to be in the painting. Um, there's, I don't know why I put the cow in there. I loved cows. June, you'll love that. You probably remember this painting. Um, but this is Ringo when he was a pup. And there's a dish and a spoon. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a, uh, there's the moon. Hey, diddle, diddle. There's no cat. I, I did the dog instead. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I got to do something for Augie. So I, I, I owe a couple of paintings for Ringo. Um, anyway. So I am going to... I'm going to sign off. Um, please do something grounding for yourself today, whether it's yoga or walking, being out in the fresh air, listening to a meditation, making some artwork. But um, do check in with me. Send your email um, to me, and I will get you on my newsletter. And thank you all for joining in and chatting with me. And I really wish you a healthy rest of your day. Creatively, I'll see you soon.